Hey guys, thanks for joining me for this video. A few months ago, I did a review on a pretty sizable 240 amp hour 12 volt battery. And uh, in that video, I made the case that if you're gonna build a battery bank, it might be better to go with fewer larger capacity batteries than a larger number of smaller capacity batteries. And I'll, I'll link that video up here if you haven't seen it and you wanna go check it out. But basically, going bigger means less cabling, uh, less balancing to have to deal with. Uh, which is both a cost savings and a convenience advantage. And so when Time USB reached out to me a couple of months ago to see if I'd be interested in reviewing their new, you know, big monster battery, this big guy right here, I thought, sure, why not? Let's go see if even bigger is even better. So this is Time USB's new 410 amp hour 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. And I'll put a picture up here. Take a look at the side by side with the 240 amp hour battery. Uh, with this 410 amp hour battery. The 240 obviously has a metal housing, but as you can see, this 410 amp hour can fit in virtually any space that the 240 amp hour can fit in. They're basically the same size, uh, even though this Time USB battery has just about 70% more capacity. So you might also wanna be knowing what the exact dimensions are. So uh, it is 20.5 inches long in this direction here. It is 10.5 inches wide in this direction and about 8.7 inches high. Now from a pricing standpoint, this beast currently has a limited time Father's Day pricing of $14.99 and you can get that on both uh, Amazon US as well as Time USB's uh, website direct. And uh, if after watching this, you think you wanna go check that out, or you wanna get serious about uh, maybe buying one, I'll have links to both of those options in the video description below. And if I'm able to score a discount code on this, I'll also leave that in the video description below for you as well. So you do pay a little bit more upfront in terms of cost per watt hour, maybe three or four cents uh, more per watt hour with these higher capacity batteries versus the smaller capacity batteries. But you're also getting a much higher capacity 250 amp BMS. And I think for many people, the slightly higher cost uh, per watt hour is going to be a fair trade-off for the flexibility to create a much bigger battery bank than you might ever need with far fewer batteries. And uh, speaking of that, you can actually combine up to four of these in parallel or four of them in series. Or you can do 16 with a combination of four parallel, four series configuration, also sometimes referred to as 4S, 4P, or 4P, 4S, uh, for a massive combined maximum capacity of just under 84 kilowatt hours. That's 84,000 watt hours. And that's more than four times the capacity that you would get by using the typical 100 amp hour batteries and just stacking them up in a 16 battery configuration. So let's jump in and see how this new battery from Time USB performs. All right, I have got this massive 410 amp hour battery from Time USB fully topped off. It is rated for 5,248 watt hours. We're gonna find out if we can get that much or more capacity out of it. Now this thing can only handle about 180 watts. Actually, my little tester here is rated for less than that. Uh, so I'm not gonna be able to pull more than about 11 amps out of this thing at a time. So this is gonna take a very long time to run. So let's go ahead and kick this off and get it started. And this is probably gonna take somewhere around 40 hours. So I'm gonna let this thing run and we'll check back when it's done. Okay, our uh, capacity test on this 410 amp hour battery is done. Let's uh, kind of zoom in over here and see how we did. Looks like we got 5,293 watt hours out of a rated 5,248. So we definitely exceeded the rated capacity on this battery. So that's an excellent number. All right, let's do some load testing on this monster battery here from Time USB. The uh, manual, if we take a quick look at that, um, you can see here that it has got a battery management system or BMS that supports a continuous charge or discharge rate of up to 250 amps. And you can see it'll support up to 500 amps uh, as a maximum discharge for up to five seconds. The uh, continuous load is 3200 watts. So I don't think I have 500 amps to throw at this and I certainly don't have it wired appropriately for 500 amps. And so we're not gonna be able to hit that 500 amp mark. Uh, in fact, in order to even get to the 250 amp mark, I need to use two different 2000 uh, watt AC inverters. Since this is a 12 volt battery um, and these are 12 volt inverters, I needed two of them in order to get a combined current draw uh, in excess of 250 amps. So I've got my smart shunt, I've got both inverters, uh, positive on the positive lead and negative coming to the uh, input side or load side of the uh, smart shunt. 
and we're going to take a look at the app. And then I've got an extra heavy uh, 2 watt cable going from the smart shunt over here to the negative terminal. So let's go ahead and add some load. I'm going to go ahead and start off by turning on the one um, AC inverter, and that should start to charge a power station that I have on the floor. And let me go ahead and kick off the app here so you can see it. As you can see, we're pulling about 270 watts just with that. So let's go ahead and uh, start adding some additional load. That's 20, a little over 20 amps. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the other 2000 watt inverter. And gonna, I've got a couple of oil heaters on the floor to provide some additional draw. So let me go ahead and crank the one up. This is going to add some significant load. So this gets us just under 2,000 watts. And by the way, the continuous watt rating or power rating uh, for, for this battery is uh, 3,200 watts. So let me go ahead and kick on some additional amperage here. This is going to probably put me over that 250 amps. So this puts us at a solid 258 amps and right at 3200 watts. So I'm going to very carefully monitor the temperature on these cables to make sure that I'm not uh, getting excessively hot. And we're going to let this run for at least 10 minutes. Alright, so that was a little more than 10 minutes, that was closer to 11 or 12 minutes, but as you saw, we were actually pulling 260 amps consistently for that entire time. So no problem with that 250 rated continuous output. And in terms of the actual power output, we were just 10 watts shy of that 3200 watts, and that was just because I didn't have any more to throw at it. So we were, uh, for all intents and purposes, right there at that 3200 watt output continuous as well for that entire test period. So performance specs on this seem to be confirmed. All right, so as you saw, this Monster 410 amp hour battery from Time USB definitely lives up to its specs. And just to wrap up on a couple of additional specs that I don't think I mentioned previously, like most lithium iron phosphate batteries in its class, it uh, does come with a five year warranty and it's rated to maintain at least 80% of its original capacity after about 4,000 full charge and discharge cycles, which should equate to a functional lifespan of somewhere between 10 and 20 years. Uh, at least 10, but maybe up to 20, uh, depending on how you use it. Now, in terms of weight, this thing weighs in at just over 80 pounds. So that's something you definitely wanna be aware of and make sure that you can handle that if you need to move it around. And while that is pretty heavy, it's actually about 12 pounds lighter than the combined weight of four 100 amp hour batteries. Uh, and because it's enclosed in this sealed ABS plastic housing, it has an, an IP65 weather resistance rating, and that is suitable for things like marine applications. Uh, but do be aware that it does not have a low temp protection or low temp cutoff or any internal heating elements. So it's just the same operating temperature specs as other uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries, allowing you to charge it anywhere from 32 degrees Fahrenheit up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit and discharge uh, down to minus four Fahrenheit or discharged up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so who is this for? I think that just a single one of these would make an extremely capable power storage option uh, in an RV or camper van application. And then of course, connecting 16 of these and getting up to an 84 kilowatt hour battery bank uh, gives you enough flexibility for just about any residential off-grid power application. I really do think that if it's in your budget, you're much better off in most cases overestimating your battery capacity needs and also going with larger capacity batteries like this if your needs are much more than say, maybe 200 amp hours or so. Okay, so I hope you found at least some of this information helpful in the video. If you did, please consider clicking on that like button. I would really appreciate that. And uh, if you're not already a subscriber, maybe consider clicking the subscribe button. I will be doing a follow-up DIY video on a pretty interesting and practical solution in the next few weeks that does uh, make use of this 410 amp hour battery from Time USB. And uh, so with that, I would like to express my sincere thanks for watching the video. And I do hope you'll consider joining me for the next one. Until then, have fun out there.